broadcast for shooters, hunters, and gun enthusiasts. This is the Firearms Radio Network. I'm here with Pete Brownell of Brownells and celebrating your 75th anniversary. Quite, quite an accomplishment. Especially with a family business, you're, you're the third generation. Right? Third, third generation. My grandpa started this thing in the basement of his house when my dad was born, actually. So it was one of those businesses of necessity that really hit his passion of, of gunsmithing and tinkering, being a, a home tinkerer in himself. That's what he started the business as. Right. As this kind of a shade tree mechanic type of role that really blossomed into what we see today, which is. Uh, Gunsmith Supply House, a do-it-yourself supply company, uh, an educational company that trains right. people how to work with their hands and gives them all kinds of information about all the tricks and the kind of easy steps for gunsmithing and do-it-yourself and maintaining your firearm from the field. So it's, it's grown quite a bit from my dad's and my grandpa's first uh, initial phase of opening a business 75 years ago. Yeah, it was all mail order and now you're all <laughs> pretty much all internet. It's, yeah, it started off, gosh, even even mail order it was, you delivered it by a uh, horse and a cart to the train and then sent it on Seriously? the train. Absolutely, yeah. It was, it was quite a deal 75 years ago. We kind of forget that you know TVs aren't that old and, and print, print. There were actually some points in there where World War II we couldn't print a catalog because uh, there was rationing on paper. We don't have to deal with those things today. As you mentioned, we're on the, we're on the internet. About 70 some percent of everything is order for the internet. Right. And you know, you mentioned education. That's one of the things I love about your website is that pretty much anything you're looking to do, whether it's building AR-15s or right. tinkering with your 1911, you, you have a video showing you how to do it. Right. Right. So it, we learned, learned early on that customers probably want to have a little help, a little assurance that what they're doing and what they're selecting is the right thing. So we really right. adopted my grandpa's philosophy and my dad did a great job with it as well of having a help desk. We have this this call-in number, a regular 800 number. You can ask for a tech and they'll walk you through a project from how do I blew a, an action to I'm, I'm betting a stock to is this the right scope to, to purchase and what rings and bases do I need? And then they help me put it on. Right. And then we, like you said, then we'll videotape that and we got a Gosh, all these techs are on online doing their help stuff that they usually do on the phone as well. So it's it's pretty focused on making sure a customer knows what they're trying to do, uh, make the right purchase, which is informed. Right. And then if, if it doesn't quite work right, they can call us and we'll make a step through them. And if it really is something they're not really interested in, or it just doesn't work, we got a forever guarantee. So right. it's really a, a right. safe purchase. So That's a win-win. It is. Yeah. That's what we want. My, my, my grandpa said that you know, show me a town without that gunsmith or that do-it-yourselfer, and it'll show you a town that's really not a, a good firearm town. So we really want to support the Second Amendment by making sure that the firearms we have out there in America are well-maintained and being used out there in the field, whether you're hunting or competing or just out at the range playing. Right, because they'll last forever if you that's, take care of them. That's right. that's right. So it's been a great 75 years. What do you have in store for the next the 75? Next, the next 75. Wow, that's a big question. It's it's going to be uh, an expansion of products, making sure that that customers out there just stay in tune with what they're looking for. We've moved from, gosh, the old uh, M1A to uh, the AR-15. Whatever the next, whatever the next reiteration of the firearm is going to become to be more customizable, we'll be right there in front of it as well. We have a lot of product expansion, a lot of innovation we're doing right now to make sure that it's easier to operate in the field and make sure that it's the right kind of information out there. So a lot more web presence, I think. And, and you're building a state-of-the-art warehouse yes. as well. Yeah, so customer, this is kind of funny. I think I think it's actually on one of these gunsmith covers, this one right here. It says, you know, if I wanted it tomorrow, I would have brought it in tomorrow. So immediate immediate customer satisfaction is really what customers are after. So we've got to stay on, on the cutting edge on operations to make sure that 
customers get it the same day, they get the answers the same day, they get the right answers the same day. And I think where America's really going is when they want the answer at midnight, they can get the answer at midnight. So we've got to stay ahead of that as well. So the call center's a big uh, improvement, the, the online education's a big improvement, and then this warehouse, 200,000 square foot of big open space to make sure we can ship stuff through the same day. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Pete. Absolutely. Look forward to uh, another 75 years. Yeah, it'll be fun. This has been a production of the Firearms Radio Network. You can find more information at firearmsradio.tv.